below my little yarnivores and spiderettes, Fiber Spider back again with another video just for you. And today it's going to be a bit of a twofer because we have an update for the hook giveaway and a product review. First things first, I would like to give a big thank you to Artisans Craft IN, that's the Etsy store, also on Amazon, Artisans Craft Beyond Manufacturing. And I want to give a big thank you because this video is sponsored because they would like me to review one of their products. So I said, sure, okay. So also I would like to thank them for being very prompt with their customer service in getting me the replacement hook, which arrived today. It was the 4.5 millimeter. So we have a complete set of 13 along with this lovely holder. And so we're doing the giveaway. <laughs> I'm excited. So ground rules for the giveaway. It's very simple. It's very painless. This is not like going to the DMV or the IRS. Okay. First things first, please be 18 or over and a U.S. resident because shipping is a bit of a beast. I will be doing international giveaways at some other point, but right now, U.S. only, I'm afraid. Sorry, guys. Um, and uh, please be a subscriber. You know, it's not a requirement, but it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now, all you have to do is in the comments section down below of this video, right down below, all you need to do is write a comment. If you won these hooks, what would be the first thing that you would make with them? That's it. And then in one week from the date of this video, I'm going to pick a comment that is related. Um, and I'm gonna pick a comment at, at random and that will be the winner. And then I will announce the winner. And then after doing the announcement, the winner will have within one week to get in touch with me and it'll get sent out to you. Now, the stipulation is if I don't hear from you within one week, I have to pick another winner. That's that's what I gotta do. Um, you know, gotta keep things moving. All right, so leave a comment down below. And right now we are going to open up a box. Yes. Alrighty, so I got this today. This is a yarn winder, and I'm very excited. Now, I, I wasn't sure what was inside of here because I'm like, I didn't order anything, but yeah, it's the yarn winder. So, double boxed, very nice, okay. So this is apparently their Rosewood yarn winder. By the way, this, this here, this is not part of the giveaways, just the hooks. I'm just making that clear. <laughs> I just, just so you know. Okay. So let's get in here. Now on the, the link to the Amazon listing, there was instructions on how to put this together. Apparently there is some assembly required. Didn't look too difficult, but we're gonna do this together. There we go, because I want you to see the full experience for this review. And I think we're good with that right now. It's really in here. Okay, I know what this is. This is the, the winding element. And we also have a, a clamp for the table. And this is the bulk of it. So I think, a little dusty. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spare you the agony of me unwrapping all of these things from the bubble wrap. And once I have everything unwrapped, I will be right back. Hello again. 
All right, so I have everything unwrapped from the bubble wrap, and I've got various components and pieces and things, and I did re-watch the instructional video on how to put this together, and I'm going to show you how to do it yourselves. So this is essentially how it came, and so we need to do a little bit of, you know, readjusting and so forth. So first things first, need to unscrew this little cap from the top here. Fortunately, I don't need any tools. That's a good thing because I don't get along well with tools. So, uh, and then pop this on to there, nice and simple, and then re-screw on the cap. By the way, I love the look of this. I love rosewood, and this is gorgeous. Come on. Really? There we go. Just had to line it up. Okay. There we go. And so yeah, this does swivel. This this is the whole swiveling motion thingy that we need. All right, and then we have this piece. This is what the yarn gets wound onto. So lifting this up just a little bit putting this onto here, and then resting it down on this beveled edge here. So that's gonna swing and do its swingy swing thing. And then we have a very industrial looking sort of rubber band. It's a tension band, very similar to what is used when uh, using a spinning wheel. Uh, in fact, the one that I have, um, the spinning wheel that I have, uses something very similar to this. So wrapping this around, getting it into this groove here, and then around the, the groove here. There we are. And if all goes well, Woo. <laughs> Don't get dizzy now. All right, now just a couple more things to add. So over on this corner here, we have a couple more pieces. We have this little guy, this little knob, and this little guy right here. This is the yarn feeder. So going to put this little guy down in here lock him into place with this little knob. There we are. And then the yarn feeder is gonna go into this little hole right here. And there we go. Now, one last thing is there is an additional hole right here, and that is because we have a bracket for, I guess you would call it a bracket, for holding this down to the table so that I don't have to hold on to it myself while doing the spinny spin. So let's put this into this hole on the bottom side. And I just have to have this little guy go down a little bit. There we go. And then into that hole and then tighten up this wing nut. See, I do know what a wing nut is. I, I do know some things. <laughs> All right, and then tighten this up so that it is nice and secure. It all the way in there yes good on we go okay so now just want to make sure it's nice and tight okay so I should be able to do this without it moving at all yep well more or less you know it would probably be better if I had more than one of these wing nuts because there is some so there is some wiggle room. It's not that bad, really. Um, there we 
There we go. Okay, so now as, as the completionist that I try to be, I do have some hanked up yarn and uh, I also have a yarn swift. So I'm gonna show you the whole, the whole kit and caboodle of what we're going to do to wind up a hank of yarn. All right, so let me get set up. Hello again. All right, so I did a little bit of experimenting with the yarn winder. And what I did was I turned a hank of yarn into a center pull hank, a, a cake, if you will. Now, not going to do this colorway again just at the moment, only because I was having significant problems with my yarn swift. I was getting all sorts of tangly bits going on and it was getting caught on the axle and I'm like, you know what, I'm not doing that again. So instead, I have my trusty yarn bowl here, my little friend, and a ball of yarn. Quite often, I do like to ball up my yarn first before I start working with it to see if there are any defects in the yarn, etc., etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that ball of yarn into a center pull cake of yarn. So let's do that. Okay, so all you have to do is we're going to wind it through this coil here and going around like so, and then through the notches at the top of this winder here and start start winding. Um, now, the only, I would say the only issue that I have with the design of this is that it does want to move on you because there's only one clamp. If, however, there were two clamps, one on either side, I think that that would make a huge difference because I found that when I was winding this, I had to hold it. Otherwise, it was doing the shimmy shake. Otherwise, this is very smooth. I really like this. So let's get started. And what I really love, by the way, pardon the vibration of the camera. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to make any of you ill. Um, what I really love is how with the, the rotation of the shaft that it collects the yarn in a spiral fashion so that it doesn't collect too much in any one particular area. Absolutely love it. And the, the motion of the crank, totally smooth. And yeah, I am holding down here just so that it doesn't do the shimmy shake. Otherwise, I would say that is my only complaint. And it's not even so much of a complaint, it's more of a constructive criticism because if they opted to drill another hole and put in another mounting bracket, I think it would make all the difference. And as you can see, it's working up pretty darn quickly. Now the only thing that I, I honestly would not necessarily recommend is to try doing this with a hank of yarn that you would get from the store, say, you know, Red Heart Super Saver or something like that, because you don't want there to be a lot of tension being fed through. Um, and you want to have a, you know, a relatively even tension going on. Um, so that being said, that's why I figured, you know what, using a ball of yarn works out perfectly because I've got it in the, the bowl and it's just spinning around like a little demon inside of that bowl there. And, uh, yeah, this should work out well. By the way, uh, the yarn that I am currently winding up is called Kobu. It is a Lion Brand yarn, and I was using this actually earlier today for a project that I'm working on, and it is lovely. It is cotton, and I believe, hang on, before I go any further, I have a skein right here. 
Uh, it is 51% cotton and 49% rayon from bamboo. I've never used this before until recently, and I rather like it. Um, by the way, this video is not sponsored by Lion Brand, but it is sponsored by Artisan Artisan's Craft IN. And we are tooling right along with our cake of yarn. We are almost done, actually, with the initial ball. And this is one full skein cake, if you will, of the kobu that we're currently winding up. And yeah, it, it works really fluidly. It works really well. And I really like this. It's a nice, whoa! <laughs> it just flew right up. Okay, so let me just untangle. Again, this is this is my fault for my method of balling up the yarn, not the fault of the winder. And we are almost done. We are at the tail end already. And there you go. Boom. So then going to release the yarn. from the notch here. And then, you know what, I found, I found what was easiest is actually if you raise this up and then you can pull off your hank. There you go. Center pull ball of yarn. Very, very nice. Love it. Absolutely. And then I take the tail and I just wrap it around the outside a little bit. And there you go. Now, something that I just thought about, actually, is I don't know if the diameter of this would work, but if perhaps you could put a, a toilet paper roll on here, I don't know if it would fit, but that way you could slide out the cake a little bit easier and have some reinforcement inside of the cake for when you're working with it. I don't know. It's just a thought. At any rate, there you go. Hands-on demonstration of this yarn winder. I really like it. And it's very user-friendly and it works up fast and it is beautiful. I like it. Alrighty, my dears, so that is going to conclude today's video on this lovely yarn winder. Thank you once again to Artisans Craft IN. Very much appreciated for the opportunity to review your product. I really like it. It's gorgeous, easy to assemble, and easy to operate. I love it. Like I said before, the only constructive criticism that I have about this is that I think it would be nice if it had two brackets as opposed to the one. Other than that, I really, really like it, and I think you guys might as well. So once again, don't forget in the comments section down below for your chance to potentially win this set of hooks, leave a comment down below. What would be the first thing that you would make if you won those hooks? I'm eager to hear your responses. So you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.